We will talk about loose and sagging skin after weight loss on the face. And what are the most common cause of loose and sagging skin after weight loss? First and most common cause is rapid weight loss. It's important. And when we call rapid, if person loses around 50 pounds in several months or more than 10 kilograms in several months. Uh, optimal weight loss is around 1 pound per week or 0.5 kilogram per week. It's considered stable and normal weight loss. Also, if person is older, he or she has more chance of sagging skin because when person gets older, skin loses elasticity, skin loses hydration and it's difficult to retain its optimal shape. Um, another important thing is that if sagging skin is mild to moderate, it will reverse over time. It will reverse in several months or um, up to one year. In one year, it will reverse in many cases. But if sagging skin is severe, then surgery is a solution. No other solution if there is important and severe sagging skin. Now let's say what is the treatment of sagging skin, what we can do to minimize them. First and most important thing is gradual weight loss. Gradual weight loss helps not to develop sagging skin and our face and our skin has time to adapt weight loss. 1 to 2 pounds per week is optimal weight loss. So it's very important part. Another method is strength training. Why is strength training important, especially for face? Because it's not face exercises. It's important because even uh, you exercise whole body and other muscles, you still stimulate collagen synthesis in your face and collagen synthesis is crucial for skin elasticity because collagen is main structural component of our skin. So strength training stimulates collagen synthesis, it stimulates also growth hormone and growth hormone is important to adapt skin during weight loss and which exercises are best especially and specifically squats are important and deadlifts also important exercises uh, bench press also pull-ups also these exercises is considered best for stimulating collagen synthesis and stimulate growth hormone also but you should remember that gradual uh, increase weight is important, very important because you can damage your muscles or you can damage your ligaments and tendons. So start with light weights and increase weights gradually. It's very important and rest. After exercise, after resistant exercise, you need rest around two days when you exercise specifical um, groups of muscles you need recovery period this, this recovery period is two to three days usually it's very important part third most important help for your skin is hydration what we mean hydration and why we need we need water uh, for skin structure uh, water is skin structural element is very important. We need water to flush out toxins. It's second function and third function is to deliver nutrients to our skin. So hydration is very important part. And what is considered optimal hydration is considered around eight glasses per day. But if you exercise, if you have uh, active life, you may need much a larger amount of water and you should define simply your uh, you, you, your water intake and hydration level if your, your urine is pale color then your hydration is good and another important symptom is dry mouth 
dry mouth in many cases indicates insufficient hydration. Another important part is nutrition. Nutrition uh, three components is main for uh, losing skin and skin elasticity. First is collagen, second is vitamin C, and third is proteins. A bone broth is considered very effective uh, to intake collagen naturally because when you're boiling bones you get collagen, you get amino acid, you get proteins so it's full composition of collagen and you directly getting collagen so bone broth is considered number one for, for your collagen vitamin C sources are very important because vitamin C stimulates uh, creating collagen and producing collagen and vitamin C sources are fruits like orange, lemon, uh, citrus fruits, grapefruit, mandarin and it's important that human requires around uh, 70 to 90 milligrams of vitamin C daily and one medium orange contains around 70 milligrams of vitamin C so citrus fruits are very important because you can get uh, vitamin C very easily important vitamin C and important and significant amount of vitamin C very easily that's why citrus fruits are very important also leafy greens like kale and spinach contains chlorophyll which are this green component of these uh, plants and uh, this chlorophyll stimulates also um, production of collagen precursor that's why leafy greens are important you can intake leafy greens and proteins are also important because proteins are important to produce collagen also and what are the best sources of proteins they are lean meat chicken fish and egg they are best sources of collagen now let's say about supplements supplements are very important part of skin care and they have studies and th that's why they are important collagen is very important supplement especially hydrolyte form for better absorption because collagen absorption is problem that's why the collagen is oral form of collagen uh, in capsules person can intake daily and this supplement is considered effective for our skin another important supplement is vitamin c as we say as i said already vitamin c promotes and stimulates production of collagen and around 90 grams of oral vitamin c oral form is effective and also we have topical applications of vitamin C like serum for example or vitamin C creams they can be much higher concentration but for oral form it's around 90 milligrams of vitamin C third most important component is hy hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid uh, also comes in two forms or not two many forms but main forms are oral supplements and second is topical applications like creams or um, it can be serums also so it's hyaluronic acid it's very important also because it's important for hydration it can bind to water molecules and bind 10 times more water molecules than its weight so it improves uh, hydration it improves fine uh, fine lines and wrinkles on the face importantly that's why people love hyaluronic acid and especially uh, instant action and fast fast action is common in case of topical application but more long-term effect uh, is uh, for, for long-term effect oral hyaluronic acid is better uh, solution so oral hyaluronic acid is for long-term effect and topical application is instant effect 
if you go in somewhere and you want instant effect for several hours or for a day then uh, topical application of hyaluronic acid is good choice and it's important that oral uh, supplementation of hyaluronic acid also promotes and helps joints for uh, joint hydration it's very important also now let's say about home remedies what we can do for in at home uh, cucumber slices are very well known especially under the eyes they improve hydration they reduce swelling uh, if uh, you can add up, apply cucumber slices around 10 to 15 minutes but it's not very effective it's only short term uh, for short-term effects uh, now let's say which uh, which home room remedies has more studies and more evidence and for long-term effect it's honey mask honey mask is really effective for long-term hydration also it improves acne because it has antimicrobial action and you can add and apply honey on your face one to two times per week and leave it on 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse with um, warm water also uh, if there is uh, specific problematic areas especially for acne or infection you can leave honey overnight also on some specific places second most effective mask is oatmeal mask oatmeal mask is more effective for dry skin for rosacea for eczema because it has anti-inflammatory action and it also increases hydration and finely grounded oatmeal is um, diluted into water or into milk and applied on the skin for 15 to 20 minutes two or three times per week usually is enough so honey and oatmeal masks are considered effective and oatmeal mask is especially effective in case of dry skin uh, turmeric mask is, is another uh, important combination because it has anti-inflammatory action antioxidant action also uh, usually it's it is used in combination with honey and it reduces of hyperpigmentation also and it, it has beneficial effect on mild acne or redness uh, and uh, there is a remedy uh, 0 0.5 tablespoon ground turmeric uh, added one tablespoon of honey or yogurt one tablespoon of tablespoon of milk and uh, diluted uh, and mix them and apply on skin for 15 to 20 minutes and it has important benefits because it's best combination turmeric plus honey plus milk it's best combination for your face and another very effective face mask is green tea honey and oatmeal or yogurt same one tablespoon of brewed green tea uh, uh, it, uh, this green tea should be cooled of course one tablespoon raw honey and uh, yogurt or ground oatmeal and mix together and add to your face they will it will uh, dry in 50 minutes it can be cracked it's it's okay it's not problem it's natural and it improves your skin <coughs> hydration skin condition it improves also fine lines on your skin they are effective and evidence-based home remedies that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now